Welcome to the Primal Persistence Podcast, the podcast where I will give you health and fitness tips for your journey toward health and fitness through knowledge from me and guests that we both can learn from. So let's get started with the Primal Persistence Podcast. Enjoy. Hey and welcome to another podcast. Today is going to be a little different than the ones I've been doing in the past. Two things is going to be different. Today we're going to talk a little more about mindset based on a book um, written by a guy called Ben Bershon. But this is all about the mindset. Even though it's a it's a fitness book, it's it's super applicable to life different things. I'm going to be talking a lot about this. So the thing here is I'm going to be talking about a book and how I like the book. I'm not a huge book review guy, but I really love this book. And I've just started reading it for the second time. And I can't remember how many books I've written twice, but I've written... uh, uh, read twice so this is a fantastic book it takes a lot of things and and if you think about it more than just a fitness book and a lifestyle book it is a fantastic way of changing your life and it's just a fantastic read so the book is called chasing excellence by ben bershaw it's not going to be a long podcast but let's get started with this book it's a symbol, not a huge, big book. It's it's a really, really good book. Ben owns his own CrossFit gym and, and runs a fantastic business. As I know, I haven't been there. I've only heard about it. But he works with some fantastic athletes. And this is part of how the book uh, gets more dramatic and more alive. Even though you're not into CrossFit and and competition, CrossFit, this is a really good book for you to see different uh, ways you can view your diet, your life, and everything. So, uh, the first thing I would like to talk about is his uh, pyramid, where he has like a classical nutritional pyramid this is a very very good basics and he has a good explanation of how you should build this up i see this a lot based on the 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 crossfit uh, pyramid where you have different structures of what you need to get more sport specific so let's take his pyramid here the bottom part of the pyramid is your person your person your character's as a champion, as a winner, as a success in your everyday life. This is the bottom part that a lot of people forget. You need to look inwards even though if it's sports, if it's health, if it's uh, doing everything you would like to do, you need to be working as a person before you start to changing all of these things. The second thing is the process. These two bottom things is a lot of things that I try to work with with my clients and, and, and people in general that I work with. The process, sticking to the process and maximizing the, the minutes that you have and, and doing all the little things and getting used to doing them will be a huge thing. For health and weight loss and just general well-being, the process is fantastic. Getting out, moving more, getting more steps in your day, lifting something heavy, heavy every day. It doesn't need to be barbells. It doesn't need to be anything. It can be multiple repetitions of, of bodyweight movements. It can be lifting your kids up one or twice more than you normally do, making sure you're lifting the right way, moving around, parking your car a little further away from the from the supermarket so you have to walk a little more every time you need to go out and handle and, 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 and shopping and doing stuff like this. So, and then the, the process, I think a big part that I see lacking is in starting to enjoying the process. So if we're talking a diet, let's not make it a too strict and too hard on yourself. Let's make it 
something where you're enjoying the process. You really love doing this. So this will be a huge game changer. And then the, the third uh, part of the, uh, the, the triangle is the ability, strength and conditions and practice. This is again exactly like we talked about the process. Enjoying it and getting better at it. So you just, you like taking your walks. You like doing your workouts. Find something that works for you, that you enjoy, that you can practice and get better at. And the top part that I see a lot of my clients and people I, I talk to and do, they talk strategy first. They start, oh, what diet should I do? What, uh, what weight loss program should I enter? What should I do? The strategy, your game plan is the top part. You need to have control over your person and your process. The process, of course, can be part of the strategy. But just normal everyday movement and eating a lot more vegetables will be the fantastic process before you start talking macronutrients and doing everything the right way. These four things set up in a pyramid is fantastic. And, and in his book, he gives a very good description on how you should be doing this. Um, and, and this is only the, the introduction. So let's just talk a little about of, of about his chapters in the book. The first chapter is about commitment. And this is super important, being it health or being um, fitness. But let's talk about it in the commitment about health and, and weight loss. This is what I see a lot. When you once in a while just step a little outside your normal uh, eating plan, you have this strict plan and then you step outside and you end up uh, saying, oh, I, I had some whatever, chocolate, uh, uh, too many carbs, whatever it can be. Then you just jump totally off the wagon and you don't get back on. Instead of saying, okay, I was out, I had a piece of cake, I had some chocolate cake today, but tonight I'm back in business, I'm working I'm focusing on my sleep and getting everything ready, sticking to the plan, the commitment. So sticking to the process will be a huge part of the commitment. So this is in his first chapter of the book. Very, very good. Just read that part yesterday. Number two is grit. Grit is a, a, a very sport specific, but still it's a mental thought of, of Sticking to the game and doing it even though it's hard. So this will be a huge, huge game plan for a lot for a lot of people here. The the the, the grid is not something the best chapter I think for the fitness and wellness, but it is it is it's a good chapter. The one I'm reading tonight. But chapter three is about positivity and this is a huge game changer like the others but if we're talking about health and 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 chasing the health and and for not only you for the entire family the positivity is so 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 important for you to getting into your everyday life so get the positivity and sticking to the process is so important it's just something that you need to do uh, it's just not the way to, to, to give up, but it's hard to give up if you're positive when you're working on it. This is fantastic. And then we come to the fifth chap the fourth chapter in embracing adversity. So so here embracing when it's hard. Especially all of you with kids and, and family, you will run into days that are a lot harder than everything else. And all of you that are alone you will have harder days as well. But some days the kids are sick, you're tired, blah, blah, blah. Everything is hard. So this just changes up everything. And this jumps perfectly into chapter five. Confidence. Confidence is so, so, so important. And sticking to the process is just the, you have the confidence to say, I am sticking to this process. This will change so much more. As you can see, the two bottom parts of the pyramid that I talked about to the start, 
just keep on going back to this. So the positivity is a part of your person. The grit is a part of your person. Uh, embracing the things that are hard, the adversity, is a part of the process. And then believing, chapter 5, believing in the process is the confidence part is fantastic. And then chapter 6 is maximizing your minute. So getting everything out of what you can do. You don't need a whole hour to, to do your workouts. You need to do whatever you have the possibility to do. So maximizing your minutes, doing the push-ups or the squats when you have the time. It's a lot better to get something done than getting nothing done. This is so huge. And then we jump to chapter uh, 7, which is the process. The process is just so important. And believing in the process. The positivity and the confidence in the process is super important. And and if you need help with getting you into a more positive process, I have a closed Facebook group that you can find the link right under in the show notes here, where I will help you getting into the process and find the process that works for you in your everyday life. So if you would like more health in your everyday life, then join my uh, my closed Facebook group where I will help you everything I can. Chap- chapter 9 is, is is turning the page and just keep on mov- moving on. This is important. And then we have chapter 10. Humility, being humble about everything that you're working on and, and being humble about what you have and in the process is, is just so humility. Is just so important for you and not thinking, wow, I lost five pounds, I'm al- almost there. But you still, if you stick the process, the, the things will keep coming. And then it's a little more about competition and, and, and the end part of the book. So this is a book that I will have the complete title and link to ben, Ben's website where you can find more about the book in the show notes. This is a fantastic book. And in next week is after in next week's podcast that will be out next friday i will have a lot more about sleep i have been writing and doing a lot on a sleep program and and a sleep program for my clients and i would like to share a lot of these tips and tricks on sleep with you in the next podcast so take a look up and let's talk about sleep in next week's podcast about sleep uh, thank you very much for listening and remember to share and 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 get all of this out to as many people as possible so you can help and then this book chasing excellence if you've heard it if you've heard this and you think you take a look at the book I'm not affiliated with Ben or anything this is just my honest opinion on a fantastic book and I think I'm gonna do a little more of these book uh, reviews um, in the future, this was just a short one. So uh, let me know if you like this. Uh, of course, hit me up in the Facebook group. If you want any help, I will help you. And then have a fantastic day. Bye.